not think that it was uh, possible that we could have uh, a year of earnings that would not top last year's or the year before, the 58 cents or the 70 cents. And yet I'm forced by our chief financial officer, Bob Schultz, to come to grips with the fact that we are going into the fourth quarter with a, a little bit of a dicey situation. We have a higher advertising expense than we've ever had. And uh, it has the potential, if things are not really explosively good, to actually uh, keep our sales below that 70 cents of the year before last. And I don't really personally think it's going to end up being below 70 cents or I wouldn't have encouraged us to put that much advertising out. On the other hand, if I don't come here and tell you how anxious I am that we make the sales happen, I don't know if they will. Because really 80 percent and probably 90 percent in December of our sales are in your stores. They're not in the catalog in December. I mean, the catalog is about 20 percent of our business year round. But 80 percent of our business year round is in the stores and it's higher than that in the month of December. So it is truly uh, in your hands at this point whether we end up with a record year or not. So if someone comes into the store and they say, how's the company doing, how's the stock doing, you're going to say, gee, the stock's up 50 to 100 percent since January, sales are up for the year, we hope to have a record year of sales and earnings. You might mention, don't quote me on that, this is not a, not a rule, this is just my opinion that our management expects you can say to them, we, our opinion is, or my, I personally believe, or something that qualifies it so it doesn't sound like if that happens to be a magazine reporter that they write it down and immediately wrote it and publish sharper image management says they will have a record year of earnings. That would be very difficult. So you want to say my opinion is, or the company's management expects that we will have a record year of sales and earnings. And don't, don't doubt that a lot of stock analysts or investment people will come into the stores and ask how we're doing. To give you just a comparison for fun, it makes me mad every day. William Sonoma last year earned about 80 cents a share. We earned 58 cents. Uh, this year they expect to earn about a dollar and 20 cents. And it, those are easy numbers to measure because a dollar 20 is 50 percent more than 80. So they expect their earnings to go up 50 percent this year. If our earnings went up 50 percent over last year, uh, 58 cents plus about 30 would be about 88 cents. We don't need to do that. We just need to get above 70 cents what we did the year before. A uh, couple of interesting quick things. Um, we're going to keep working on merchandise delivery and systems. We've hired a vice president of MIS, um, Vincent Barrieros. I don't know if you've had a chance to meet him. Yeah. He uh, came from Williams-Sonoma, and we were just absolutely thrilled to hire him, and I think he's going to do a real good job for us. And one of his priorities is merchandise delivery and systems so that we can improve that. Along with that, we purchased a second distribution center, you may have heard this, in Little Rock, Arkansas. And that is designed to cut down the lag time for eastern stores and for Florida stores from the week it takes now to get something from the west coast down to about two or three days. It would also probably service Chicago. So we're going to try um, next summer, a year from now, beginning to bring merchandise out of Little Rock, Arkansas. And that will cut down the delivery time. We'll still keep the distribution center here. We're going to, we're going to uh, continue to work on international expansion. Uh, the biggest market is Canada. Our neighbor to the north is sitting right there. I'm real excited about getting going with stores and a catalog in Canada. Uh, several managers mentioned to me that we should start working on a retirement package so we could uh, use that in hiring to reward people that have been with us a long time. So in the coming year, I think we'll get that put together. And it's a priority on my list now because some of you have mentioned it to me, and I appreciate that. Uh, the GM catalog has been an interesting um, project and several people asked me to comment on it. It was done for several reasons. Uh, one is because I think that it's great for us to be tied in with a company that is probably the world's largest, uh, or if not the world's largest, one of the three largest companies in the world, something like, um, I don't know what, $100 billion now or something. And for them to want to use us as their partner, I thought said a lot to everybody about the stability of our company because I don't think they'd want to choose somebody as their partner that they didn't have a belief would be there for the long term. Secondly, um, quite frankly, truly, I like trucks. I think trucks are sort of neat. And it's a lot more fun that we're tied into a truck than that we're tied into like um, oh, a sedan. Like supposing our, the official sharp image vehicle was a uh, Buick. 
I mean, that just wouldn't quite fit. But trucks are sort of neat. I mean, there's Blazers, and there's the new Lumina APV, the streamlined van. There's the full-size pickups, which are really in and cool, even though it's not something necessarily uh, each of us has a use for every day. Trucks are in. And uh, the other thing that I think was really interesting is to try and diminish the feeling that some people had that the sharp image was so elitist that you could only come in there if you were rich. And that was the wrong image for us because even though it was sort of you know neat to have that image, it doesn't allow us to continue to grow. We have to make everybody feel comfortable coming to the sharper image. And one way to do that is to tie ourselves with a brand that's a little more accessible than just BMW or Porsche or Mercedes. So I think the GM thing has done that. The Chevrolet truck symbolizes to people, hey, you know, we're not quite as above you as you think. And you don't need to worry about diminishing our image to people. That image, that perception is created by you and the people that work for you every single day. Again, it's just like Joe O'Rourke said. Uh, they want to have an experience that's so good that they want to come back and have it again. And that has nothing to do with whether it's GM or Porsche, I assure you. It has to do with how they're treated, what kind of attitude they get from you when people are in the store. And, and even further, that they have such a good experience, not only do they want to come back and experience it again, but they want to bring a friend to come back and experience it. I mean, that's really what makes the sharper image a classy place. And then lastly, uh, I'll just briefly touch on this so you can get my thinking. I am really tired of the February period being so dull. So this year, assuming there's any merchandise left after Christmas, and I hope there isn't, we are going to have our first ever store-wide annual clearance sale in the period that starts with the February catalog about, what is that, January 20th. And I'm not quite sure exactly how long this sale will last, but approximately um, three weeks or something like that, or a month at most, maybe two weeks only. Maybe you can give me your opinions about that later. Uh, but the idea is we have too much of a dead period after Christmas where we're sort of recovering and uh, recovering our you know, interest and, and the customers aren't buying gifts in February much. So if we have a sale, I think it will allow us to compete with other retailers that are offering, merchan excuse me, that are offering merchandise at a discount. And I think that's where the consumer's dollar is going then. And I realize, you know, you may think, well, gee, this isn't like us. And I will tell you, we will do it in a way that's high-styled. We will do it in a way that looks nice. But I will bet, if I'm not wrong, that we will be able to get scads of people, just lots of people, coming down to the store in February. And how much fun that would be to have a lot of people walking through the store in February instead of it being sort of boring, dull, quiet time. And we won't do as much uh, margin, but we'll do a lot of sales. And I bet that will be a lot of fun. It will be really uh, scattered the first year, though, because we won't know exactly what we're doing the first year. And so you just have to bear with us, and, and you'll learn, and we'll learn, and we'll learn together, and next year we'll do it even better. But at least we'll probably see a lot of people coming in and buying something, and that'll be a lot of fun. And we'll have some items that are best-selling items that's at some reduction. Then we'll have items that didn't sell at all at big reductions. And then we'll have uh, some items, perhaps, that are still the regular price. But there'll be a lot of things on sale, and it will be our only sale for the entire year. We are not ever going to be the type of company that gets into having a sale every month or twice a year. I don't think that's us. But never say never. Uh, I mean, maybe, in the th maybe that third quarter, maybe sort of like that end of August period that's so dull around Labor Day, maybe that's a good time to do on Sunday. But let's see how this goes. And we would limit it just to those dull periods, because our goal as a company is going to have to be how to find business in that first uh, and third quarters, as well as the dynamic second and fourth quarters. Well, I talked a long time, a little too long. And um, as, as I leave you, I was thinking it's hard to say anything profound at this point. For those of you who have been through Christmas, you know it's such an unusually stressful and frantic and interesting and exciting period. Uh, it's back to Thomas Edison saying, I think it was Thomas Edison, who said that uh, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% 99 perspiration. So I can guarantee you that along with being well-dressed and handsome and good-looking, you will be uh, smart. In fact, you will be geniuses uh, this Christmas because we are going to guarantee you will have that level of traffic in your stores. And now I have to count on you to help me deliver a result that is the best we've ever had. Thank you. Well, you know, it's getting uh, 12.05. I would suggest we break for lunch, and I know it's hard to sit anywhere for an hour and 15 minutes or however long it's been. So why don't we turn the lights on, and we'll adjourn. And I'll hang around for a few minutes. We've got something specific to talk about.